The idea of becoming an entrepreneur can be very appealing to some people. It suggests a lot of positive qualities about a person. It says that they're hardworking, motivated, creative, and so on. Uh, if someone believes that they're capable of engaging in entrepreneurial activities, they may assume that they possess these qualities, but of course that's not the case. What I'm investigating is the degree of variation that exists between one's perception of his or her aptitude towards entrepreneurship and their actual aptitude. In other words, I want to see how many people possess the qualities that they think they do and whether a gap exists between one's perception and the actual truth. Our methodology relies on quantitative data that we collected in the 2015 fall semester. Another researcher and I, working under Dr. Schlosser, distributed surveys at two points in time last semester, once in September and once in December. The surveys were distributed to business engineering students who were mostly in their second and third years. The surveys measured attitudes towards leadership, uh, creativity, um, personal control, and achievement. Students were also responsible for coming up with a project where they developed an innovative product. I'm using students' grades as a proxy for real-life entrepreneurial ability. Then I'm going to be comparing the students' grades with uh, their attitudes as measured in the surveys to see whether a gap exists. Some implications of the study include contributing to the existing pedagogical pool of literature. More importantly, we hope to be able to identify people's weaknesses uh, associated with entrepreneurial skills, which can help save time and money.